Hey guys, Motocon Nut here, and today we're going to be re removing a radiator from a 2012 Subaru Forester. This applies from 2000, 2011 to 2018, but it can go lower in models because the Subaru um, radiator is pretty much mounted in the same area, and the same things have to come off, probably from 2004 all the way up to whatever, current. Uh, the plastics, and it may be a little bit different. But to get to the radiator, when you're taking the radiator out, it's pretty much all the same. All right, on this uh, Forester 2012, over here you have little um, fasteners. You just get something, put it on here, pop them up. All right. See? Okay, that's the first thing you do. On the top, this just slides right out. It's just a vent for fresh air. Put that to the side. What you're going to want to do now, we're going to go underneath and drain the coolant. On the bottom, right around here, on the bottom, there's going to be a drain plug that's flush, and you need a Phillips head screwdriver to take it off. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we're on the bottom right here. Here it is over here. It's a Phillips head. You unscrew it, drain the coolant into a container. Don't put it in the ground. It's illegal. And watch out for pets. They'll smell it, smell sweet. They'll drink it and die. All right, so just be careful on that. Now, after that, there's going to be a plug here for the fan. Just disconnect this connector. You take that connector out. And over here, you're going to have tranny lines. One there and one there. What you do is you take the tranny line out and get like a rubber plug to plug it in so it doesn't spill out all over the place. And do the same thing with the one over there. Okay, after you're, uh, you're drained with the coolant, take off the lower radiator hose right here. Okay, and um, there's another plug over there. You take that one out, and I think that's it for the bottom. And then we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna go back up top. Just want to show you what I did. See, I rubber capped it over here and over here so the transmission fluid doesn't go all over the place. Okay? And um, don't forget the electric connector there and on the other side. Okay, now we're going to go on the top. Okay, now we're back up top. The radiator. You remove the radiator hose. If, you, if it doesn't want to come off, what you could do is grab it with a big pliers and like just crack it from side to side they have this little tool it's like a little it's like a little spoon that you push in there and put it around because sometimes they really don't want to come off but um you'll get them off and once you get them off 10 millimeters for the fan one two three and four and for the overflow tank what you have over here there's a little tab here yeah i'll show you i'll put it back in you see it's in like that and what you do, you get a screwdriver and push it. You push it in while you while you pull it while you pull out. I can't do it with one hand, but you got the idea. There's a little plastic tab right here. You see this? Just push it in like that, and you just pull it right out. It comes right out. That's what I'm gonna do now. And then once you got that, they just slide right out. Okay. that and then we continue and you got your 13 millimeter uh, bolt here for the uh, radiator mount there and there you just zip them out okay and we we'll take the mounts and then that's it you just pop it out and while you're back there it's good to maybe clean the condenser for the AC and when you put the radiator back in it's going to have little uh, little plastic um, prongs right here that go into these mounts. And you mount it back, and you reverse the procedure. Okay, I'm not installing it because I'm taking the engine out. As if you're following my videos, you know that already. Um, and that's it. All right, guys? Motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, leave them below pertaining to the video. And I answer all my questions, try to help everybody out. If you learned something, I would appreciate a super thanks or supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for all the comments and thank you for watching.